The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asthma Day. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are unboxing... Sherlock Holmes, the Consulting Detective. So this has adventures from um, including Jack the Ripper and the West End. So it's kind of interesting. You have that white chapel, then you have like the theater. Well, what is now the theater district in London? So and, it's kind of cool. And you kind of know about Sherlock Holmes. And, Just a little bit. And we've played <laughs> several games about Jack the Ripper. In mm -hmm. fact, they're right behind you. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Jack mm -hmm. and Mr. Jack Pocket. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, this looks really cool from what I've seen on the back. This is We're going to be going around London and trying to mm -hmm. find Jack the Ripper. Actually, there's 10 there's different, a bunch scenarios. Of different scenarios. Yeah, so let's open up and see what's in the box. Okay, Megan, let's look at the back of the box first. See what we got there. Ooh, we got some like some blood splatter. Mm -hmm. Nasty. It's kind of cool. We got like little journals. Looks like a newspaper, a map, and some information on the different types of scenarios. Yeah. Go ahead and open it up. Yeah, this box looks a little uh, different. Yeah. Out. Yeah, it does. So that's kind of cool. It's like a drawer. So here we have the rule book. We've got your introduction, the object of the game, map of London, and the map of Whitechapel. Do you know your way around London? I kind of do. Yeah. You got newspapers, case books. Yeah, and if I remember right, each case kind of builds on to the next. That's kind of cool. Because you've got like a newspaper from the day mm -hmm. that you're doing the investigation. Here's your Jack the Ripper campaign information and game setup and overview. Then how you do the end of the game and the score. That's kind of cool. And so more information, yeah, about all the different people. So yeah, some of these people are in other games that we've played, like Lang Langdale Pike. He's been in some games. Mycroft. Yeah, we all know about Mycroft. Um, uh, Home or uh, Sherlock versus Mycroft. Scotland Yard. Yeah, so it's kind of cool seeing the different places. Lomax reminds me from a John Wayne movie. Yeah. Here's the London Directory. This is actually kind of cool looking. I'm really excited to play this one already. So. Do you recognize that coat of arms? I don't know. But it's pretty cool. Alphabetical wow. West. Oh my gosh. This is actually like. Yes. Really now detailed. Look this up. You're gonna to have to read that because even with my glasses, I'm gonna have a hard time. But this looks so cool. The list by category. You can look up like the different clubs and charities, hospitals. Yeah, because I think when we look at the map, you're oh gonna you're gonna see numbers on there that are gonna represent each one of these, these places. These are so cool, though. I think this looks super cool. So here is. So that's London. the map, and it's yeah, uh, paper. Yeah, paper. See, so here's the back. So this looks like Whitechapel. It's a bit smaller, yeah, it says up there, it's Whitechapel. So that's So this will be cool. just for the Jack the Ripper scenarios, probably. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a board game that's actually just paper. Yeah. And then here's your map of London. So you've got Hyde Park over there, you've got the Thames. I almost want to get this uh, laminated. We probably could. But I don't know, it probably wouldn't fit in the box then. No, it's super cool, I'm just looking at everything. It tells you where everything is, but like, I mean, it is kind of small print. So I guess that's why. Um, Hyde Park. Yeah, that's, I pointed that out Is that where Mr. Already. Hyde uh, hangs out? I don't know. Buckingham Palace. We've got a bunch of different stuff here. It's actually kind of cool. Where's, uh, where's, where's the Parliament Building and Big Ben and all that? Um, you know? It's by the Thames. There's the Tower of London, so it's over here, kind of. Tower of London. Isn't that where the crown jewels are at? Mm -hmm. That uh, Moriarty already broke into? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to look at the map later because I think that's super cool looking, actually. This is kind of like uh, the way I was with... Uh, World's Fair, 1893, yeah. looking at all that stuff. You're going to be the same way with this. Okay, here is our newspaper of the time. So it's kind of thin, but it does tell you a bunch of different stuff here. So Marriages, the, deaths, births, man, that's... Employment, apartments for rent, um, Edison's phonograph, information about Egypt. There's a spy arrested down here on the back. This just looks super cool. All the information and everything, attention to detail. Theft in the Crown Jewels room. 
Oh. oh that's Does it Moriarty. mention Moriarty? No, it doesn't, but, I mean, you know, we can probably imagine Horror in Whitechapel. That's kind of cool. Yeah. This just looks super cool. So you got a couple of these. I think there's one for each scenario, so it's probably ten. Yeah, there is. And it's super cool, though, so I've got different information on all of them. Yeah, this is Saturday, September 1st, 1888. This is the 10th of 88. Oh, so you've got October. the star. Okay, so here's two of the times, and you have the star. Special edition with Whitechapel. So you've got a couple of the stars here. That's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. What we think. They, they must have known dad and daughter were going to uh, review this. Yeah, but you've got the show times down here on that one. The American presidential election information on the Queen. Here you have the police news. This is in Illustrated. That's really cool. Look at all this. It's all the little art and all. So all this is the that. evening edition for September 16th. This one's actually... No, I just one. And you go back to the Times for September 19th. This is just super cool. I just want to read all of these. She's got a bunch of child stolen by a monkey. There you go. There's the child stolen by a monkey. Wow. Some interesting news going on. This is just super cool, though. Very thematic. Mm-hmm. Here we have... Okay, so this is chapter one. So this is probably the one we're going to do. Uh, is there 10 of those in I here? I believe see. so, yes. It looks like Oh, wow. Look at that. Geez. Look at all these. That's not even the last one. A simple case of murder. He's a murderer. Yeah, that's the 10th case, and this is the 9th. Is they numbered on the outside? Yeah, they are on the bottom. Oh, 10th. It tells you the date Nine. to correspond with the two. With It goes with the newspaper. Yeah, that's super cool. Very neat. The Savage I have Club. A feeling, I wonder if that's going to be like the Diagnostics Club that my cross is part of. I wonder if this is going to take some time to, to get through these. That may be a really long episode. This is just going to be super cool, though. I just want to look in the first one. So this is the Don't first give too chapter. much away. No, <laughs> Although no. I don't think anybody's probably going to be able to read that small print. You know, you've got illustrations in here, though. Some information about the Police neighborhoods. Neighbors. This is just super cool. I'm definitely going to be really into this game. Just the thematic of it at all is just super cool. Maybe when something's upside down, it's that. Historical notes. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, you might not want to look at that. It's just blank right now. Oh. So, questions. Uh, ooh, you have to figure stuff out. This looks super cool. I know there's a Sherlock app for the new like BBC Sherlock that I played. That's kind of like this. But it's just like, it's like the board version of it. We had to go around London and solve stuff. This just looks cool. I really want to play this already. All right, so that is Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective, Jack the Ripper, and Weston Adventures. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye. And as a side note, you'll notice there's nothing to Gerberize. No. So, hmm. You just got to do it all in your mind palace. Mind palace. Yep. Yeah. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.